All right then, so I uh, never really thought I'd be making uh, this type of video again, but um, concerning the circumstances, it's, I believe, kind of necessary, but uh, I just really wanted to talk about and sort of honor the memory of who I consider one of the best indie authors, and one of the best authors in quite a while <laughs> in the uh, modern fantasy genre, um, and obviously my reasoning for doing this video is kind of obvious, but it's because of um, the unfortunate passing of Melissa McPhail, and it, it legitimately just... It came out of nowhere, really. But, uh, that's, uh... That's what happens. It's, it's, a, it's a tragedy, because she was... She was almost done. Almost done. She had those last two books just constantly worked on she was giving it her all, all her heart, all her passion, and and she was even updating the blog quite frequently. And uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna. Go. I don't think we're gonna get the last two novels unless there was someone there to be ready to able to handle it and write out the manuscripts. But uh, yeah, I think this is uh, the end of a pattern of shadow of light. And with what five novels we have, um, I'm perfectly fine with it. Quite honestly, it feels there's a sense of content and I just feel sad for McPhail because I obviously she was so greatly passionate to actually get the series done and she was just, just giving it her all and now it's that sense of regret that's gonna be lingering and it's, it's sad to hear it's sad to note it's sad to say but yeah uh, I guess this just will be me talking about why everyone should give her books a chance and why I think a pattern of shadow of light is probably the best indie fantasy ever written um without too much spoilers hopefully <laughs> but uh it's 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 gonna be short and sweet because i had an entirely huge video planned and it's just it's gonna hurt trying to uh actually write that out and finish that up um and i think now honestly it feels a bit amateurish to actually do it that way but uh what um why i think a pattern of shadow of light is so worthwhile is simply because McPhail herself is not only a fantastic author prose wise, well certainly it's nowhere up to par with say Cormac McCarthy or both or uh, Peak. Um she has her own voice and own style and some brilliant moments of symbolic just power to her works. <laughs> uh book two, the Dagger of Agatha Katharinov. Dagger of uh name I always had trouble uh, pronouncing uh, Aden Dagagaf Dagagaf Aden Dagagaf was fantastic the opening chapter with the hermit influenced me so much when it came to my writing and it really did show just how brilliant she is as an author prose wise but legitimately her writing is just fantastic she has a very meticulous form of plotting and just seeing how her world just grows bigger and bigger in small minute ways and how the continents sort of spread was always a uh, beauty to see and she was an author that took very huge risks in directions of her support her stories would go with the freight of her certain characters and you would think like oh here's how this one character's gonna go but fucking nope <laughs> melissa is uh very unpredictable as an author because she'll always take the characters that you think will go one way into an entirely separate direction and it's always like <laughs> these horribly brutal and disturbing directions and now that i say that everyone would be like oh wait, where are you gonna take them and it's just like i'm not gonna tell you who because yeah some go on some typical arc others go on much much darker darker <laughs> routes but uh Melissa was so good at just making her works move in such a way that she could actually get an idea of where it would go but still not understanding it just leaves you in the dark and I think it, that definitely just like just works. It's like it's a matter of tying of you can you may see be able to see it into the future, but you don't know what exactly the future holds. That's a thing. You won't know the the pretension there. And it's a very interesting idea with the concept of fate is and everything along those lines with the themes of the series and predeterminism and as well as sense of free will. And I think it's one like the reasons as to why Melissa's work is so philosophically rich. She has a lot of tying in and, and beautiful, subtle nuances into making, enhancing her work and the quality of it. Well, I certainly wouldn't say the series is as ph philosophically like verbose as say um, the second Apocalypse was by R. Scott Baker. She certainly has her own voice, her own sense of philosophy, and it's beautiful to see. But 
I think what stands out the most about uh, a pattern shed of lights is I don't think there's a single bad character. Uh, there's certainly like you know rougher dialogue or characters that just don't get as much like time as others, but I don't think there's a character in the story I can say that was badly written. Uh, they always are just like constantly evolving, constantly changing, and even when there's certain ideas that are repeating, certain scenes, certain concepts that just end up repeating themselves, you would have, of course, just Melissa taking into a new direction, new characterization that even if we try to go back to what we once were before, it, it doesn't stay the same. And I think what makes, of course, it plenty clear is Ian's character arc. Ian is technically the main character of this series, and I'd say he has a journey that's on par with Rand Thor in terms of how well his character writing is for just five novels. Just fucking brilliant. Tannis is arc was Tannis went from a character I didn't like in the first book to one of my favorites pretty soon because of just like how much. Melissa put her heart and passion into making him such a fantastically well-written character. Uh, Trell is obviously the, the, the Giga Chad of the series. Trell is an absolute Giga Chad. Bjorn is the Chad of Chads. He's one of the best fantasy villains in a long while. And it's what I wanted out of so many series. Just this villain that just has such power. And the twists involving, of course, Bjorn are so interesting to read and what exactly his motivations are that I will not spoil it because I think everyone just should experience it for themselves. But needless to say, oh boy, <laughs> Melissa goes into some just like obscene places involving with her metaphysics and it's such it's always such a beauty to see. And, and even just like a minor one of characters, and just it's just so good like she's such a fantastic author and her handling of the ideas of love are quite interesting i think that's actually kind of a weak point i don't think the romance of the series is necessarily that that great uh but you know there, there's certain charm to it uh, but i even then yeah i'd say the romance wasn't exactly the strong point and i don't think it was meant to be i think there was definitely some aspects of it that was just like it exists it's there but it's handled a bit differently and even then it's handled more adultly and i think other series do there's there's no there's a difference in contrast between the childish love and then there's there's the real passionate like adult typical love you'll find there and even then i wouldn't call it love it's romance typically that's it <laughs> but uh, you know even something that's great as this has its flaws um so that's yeah this is really all i can really talk about and that's the issue but i i, I definitely just wanted to just say that melissa mcphail means a lot to me as a, as a writer and an author as a reader and everything she's fantastic and the fact that she's gone like that is it's just uh, it's painful it's it hurts a lot and uh yeah i never uh never knew her didn't know her uh, you know just read the blog and everything but still it's always disappointing to see people be able to finish their their uh their life's work so all I can really say beyond just praising about Pattern of Shadow of Lights there and explaining what masterful uh, craftsmanship she had within her own writing is um, rest in peace Melissa McPhail you were a genius taken far too long and I have no doubt those last two novels would have been some of the greatest endings to fantasy out there because with the five books we had with how well you ended up writing them, they were absolutely amazing. Uh, my condolences to their family, and uh, yeah, it's it's. Uh, there's not much else to say. May she rest in peace. Thank you, Melissa McPhail. You are taking it too soon. Rest in peace. Just, uh, I'm just gonna sign off now, guys. See ya.